Good afternoon everyone, in today's video we're looking at a massive severe threat for this weekend and next week. We're going to look at the Storm Prediction Center outlook for day one. And this is of course the severe thunderstorm outlook for today. Today is Thursday, March 17th. We have a slight risk for severe weather uh, stretching from Louisiana, Mississippi to Texas and Oklahoma. Also portions of Arkansas could see a little bit of severe weather throughout today and tonight. We do have a large area of a 5% chance for tornadoes across portions of southeastern Louisiana and southern Mississippi. We're also going to have a 2% risk for tornadoes across portions of Oklahoma and northern Texas. That is going to be including uh, Oklahoma City and Norman, Oklahoma, Fort Still, almost Wichita Falls there. That 5% chance of tornadoes is going to be including portions of of New Orleans, uh, Louisiana, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Battery, uh, Louisiana, Lafayette, Louisiana, and Gulfport, Mississippi. We do have a two areas of 15% chance of winds in 60 miles per hour or greater. In hail, we do have a significant chance today of two inch greater sized hail in that Black Hats region. The rest of that 15% re region is going to be a 15% chance for one inch diameter hail or greater. Here's tomorrow's outlook. We have an enhanced risk for severe weather in a little small area there in Mississippi, Alabama, and the panhandle of Florida. We also have a, a much more widespread slide as you're reaching from all the way from Louisiana, even into portions of Southern Illinois and Southern Indiana there, where you will not see that severe weather throughout tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Here's the tornado threat, which we do have a significant threat for tornadoes in that yellow 10% region, which means you are going to see uh, possibly EF2 to EF5 tornadoes possible in that yellow region. Make sure you make sure you do have that way to get warnings, especially tornado warnings in that yellow percent region uh, for tomorrow morning. It's going to hit in the very early morning hours, so people may be awake, people may be asleep, people may be just waking up. So make sure you have that way to get warnings, watches, and advisories. If you do even live in the 5% region, that's where you're also going to see that chance for tornadoes tomorrow. Winds, we are going to have a 15% chance for 60 mile per hour winds. Also, another significant chance for 2 inch diameter hail and greater up there in near the Ohio Valley. The day 3 outlook, we have a general slight risk in effect for severe weather that was of course going to be saturday so you are still going to have that threat for severe weather just not too significant mainly just so severe storms with winds and hail let's look at the day five outlook we've been looking at that uh, at this outlook for a few days now i'm uh, watching it expand watching it upgrade and this morning at about 3 a.m the, uh, the storm prediction center has actually decided to put in a 30 percent chance for severe weather across portions of texas and louisiana this is actually quite rare and we usually don't even see a 30 percent chance for severe weather even on day five we usually see it on day four issued but last year we did see a uh, two of these 30 percent get issued down there in mississippi and alabama so over here just west of there we do have that 30 percent chance which is quite rare and we, you, we usually don't see this on day five which it means we're going to see some very significant severe weather on monday so again stay tuned for more updates on monday as we're continuing to get a lot more data and details for this potential severe weather outbreak on early week. So Monday and Tuesday, that's where we could see those significant days of severe weather. Day six as well, we have a 15% chance there of severe weather. Severe weather, as you can see, this is going to be including some very populated areas. So we're talking Memphis, Tennessee, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Shreveport, uh, Mobile, Alabama. Very populated areas in a very widespread region. Uh, for Tuesday that we'll be seeing severe weather as well. Let's go back to day five here. As you can see, uh, it's also going to be including some very populated areas. Uh, Waco, Texas, uh, Killeen, Texas, Tyler, Texas, Round Rock, Texas, uh, also College T Station, Texas. We can also look at the cities here very close to Dallas. So Dallas is practically in that 30% chance for severe weather. Again, a very significant chance for severe weather uh, but that's 15 but that 15 percent chance is also very widespread and it's also another chance for that significant severe weather houston texas san antonio texas dallas texas uh, austin texas also fort worth texas is going to be in that 15 percent chance 
for significant severe weather on monday let's look at the future at our for today and tomorrow as you can see this is going to be around 4 p.m today so as you can see there's not much going on we're seeing some rain showers but you can definitely see that cold front and that dry line this is going to be around 4 p.m today as you can see there's not much going on according to the future radar however there's a lot going on kind of behind the scenes as we're as we you, know, you can see the arrows again and i've so, i've shown this in a few of my other videos these arrows are all going north but let's go switch over to over here these arrows are going east but there's they kind of stop they stop going east right here this is where we can tell that there's a cold front coming into this area and once we head a little more north we follow this cold front more north we can see here it's these uh arrows are kind of doing weird uh, directions that's meaning that we're, we're seeing a low pressure system right here we can play the future radar and as you can see, you can see this, these rain showers kind of going into a, a rotation direction. And that's meaning we're seeing a cold front, a low pressure type setup. Let's move forward here with the future radar there. We're seeing storms firing in Oklahoma about 6 p.m. tonight. And as we move forward here, that's going to be moving throughout the Oklahoma City areas with heavy rain, lightning, uh, possibly a tornado threat or two in central Oklahoma. Hail is again also going to be a big threat later tonight. Let's move forward though. We're seeing storms now firing here and very cluster type storms in portions of eastern Texas and uh, western Louisiana. By 9 p.m., you're still seeing a lot of those severe storms in Oklahoma. Still seeing a lot of clustered severe storms in eastern Texas and Louisiana. Now we're reaching into more of the midnight hours. So this is going to be around 12 a.m. of now Friday. We're obviously seeing some possible organized storms in there, but still overall very clustered storms. That's going to be heading throughout Arkansas and Louisiana in the very late uh, evening hours into the overnight hours. As you can see, we're moving forward even more. Seeing some definitely organized, organized storms here in portions of southeastern Louisiana. Actually, more central Louisiana. You're seeing more of those organized storms popping up around 3 a.m. or so. So it's going to be very late night storms, which you need to make sure you do have that way to get tornado warnings. Make sure that they do wake you up so that you can take shelter in the event of a tornado warning. Morning. let's move forward even more still some organized storms here now in mississippi around the very early morning hours so we're talking about 5 a.m or so still very clustered storms but maybe some organized storms still possible in there that may have that tornado threat that's going to be in the end of this loop here so we're going to go we're going to go ahead and look at the 48 hour H triple R model. As you can see, we're now reaching into our, around 6 a.m. or so, and by this time, as you can see, there's pretty much very clustered storms. However, we're not going to ignore the major tornado threat down here in the south. This is this area is where we could see some very organized supercells throughout early tomorrow morning, including EF2 to EF5 tornadoes possible. So. PDS tornado watch is going to be possible. I don't think it's going to be very likely, but it is going to be possible tomorrow in a small area of Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. As you can see, we're seeing some very organized storms there in the early morning hours, reaching into more of the lunchtime hours uh, across portions of the panhandles of Mississippi, Alabama, and the panhandle of Florida. So three different panhandles are going to see some uh, major tornado threat throughout tomorrow morning into the early afternoon hours. And you're still seeing some of those organized storms with tornadic possibilities in portions of Alabama. And look at this line. This whole line is reaching all the way uh, down here into nearing the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. So a very large system. That's going to be bringing a major tornado threat. As you can see, early afternoon, uh, early afternoon, I was a Friday. You can see this major possible supercell that's looking is very organized and impossible. Big time tornado threat for around 1 p.m. in southern Alabama, right? Pretty much going along the border of Alabama and Florida. That's where that supercell will be. So make sure you do have, if you are going to be in that path of that supercell, I do think that's going to have a big chance of producing a big tornado. So be sure to definitely have that tornado plan in place make sure you do have that tornado safe place if you are going to be in the path of these supercells because that's going to be lasting into southwestern of georgia and then it should be weakening from there but then again that's going to be 9 p.m so that supercell is going to be lasting a very long time and we're talking about five hours that that supercell is going to be existing into southwestern georgia so a very long track to supercell but it's going to be possible there in the panhandle of florida the panhandle of georgia 
uh, I mean, uh, Alabama, uh, also Southern Alabama, Southwestern Georgia is going to see that major super so possible. I think that the Hayes Triple R model is hinting at. Again, look at this significant tornado parameters. As you can see, we're reaching upwards of seven, which means we're going to have a definite uh, significant tornado threat down here in Mississippi, Alabama for the early morning hours of Friday. And we're going to move forward here, and this is existing here into as you can see over even over here in alabama uh, tennessee a large line of these severe thunderstorms are going to have that significant tornado threat uh, throughout tomorrow so it, there may be a possibility i live stream tomorrow it's going to be a weird timing though so just subscribe with notifications you'll get a notification if i do go live or not but i think i'm just going to do a video breaking down all the storms and their future possibilities and stuff very in-depth to a uh, video tomorrow morning but it depends i may change my mind here so as you can see like i so that supercell is going to be lasting to southwestern georgia so there's still going to be a, a quite the tornado threat throughout the evening hours of friday into saturday overall those storms will all uh, be weakening by the late uh, even by the overnight hours so you will have a good night's sleep alabama you have a good night's sleep uh, georgia but again that major supercell is going to have a big possibility of producing a, a big long track tornado in alabama and mississippi in alabama and georgia florida as well so definitely stay tuned if you are living in these areas especially for tomorrow afternoon have those tornado plans in place in the event of that tornado now we can look at the updraft helicity swaths and this is again from the college of dew page as you can see this supercell is going to have the possibility to produce a long tracked possibly big tornado as you can see according to this helicity swath this is typically what storm chasers look at when they want to chase a certain storm it depends as you can see some of these supercells do have a chance for tornadoes but not as much as this one as you can see the more reddish and even pinkish colors you get yeah, that's where you could see a much stronger supercell that does have that bigger chance of producing a tornado so this is what storm chasers typically look at so as you can see in the future forces of louisiana mississippi this is kind of the tornado hot spot tornado hot spot that you will see those tornadoes throughout tomorrow morning into the even even evening hours that's kind of my area where you could see potential tornadoes uh, throughout the whole day of tomorrow in tomorrow's video we're going to be breaking down a lot more in uh, in the early week severe weather outbreak potential but as always be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications you won't miss a single update or live stream i do on the channel also make sure to share this with any friends or family that may live in these areas or may be interested in this type of weather content i do try to do these daily uploads for y'all so as always stay safe out there